Welcome back to the deep dive. Today we're uh, putting on our virtual hard hat, you could say. Yeah. We're diving into a source stack that a listener sent over, really fascinated by, well, the future of building fast. Mm -hmm. We're looking at modular structural aluminum construction tech, specifically training materials from a company called MHS Building Systems. Right. So our mission today, it's pretty critical. We're not just reading specs. We need to really get the core technology, understand how it claims to be so fast and simple to put together. Yeah, the how is key. And maybe most importantly, take a hard look at the structural side, the integrity, the code compliance for this uh, patented post and beam system they have. Yeah. It's definitely challenging wood and steel, so does it actually stack up? It's definitely an interesting space. And MHS, well, they've been working on this for a while, over two decades in this specific modular aluminum niche. Okay. Their whole identity seems built on four things, strong, lightweight, sustainable, and certified. And that last one, certified, that's uh, really important. They've got QAI Cirrus 139 certification. QAI Cirrus. Okay, what does that mean in practice? It means they meet the big U.S. building codes, IBC, IRC, CBC. So yeah, it's signals, this isn't just some idea on paper. It's verified for uh, type B construction, residential, light, commercial. Okay, let's unpack that. Type B construction, just so we're all on the same page. It's basically standard wood frame houses, right? Low-rise homes, mm -hmm. smaller commercial buildings you see everywhere. Exactly that, yeah. If they're genuinely competing in that huge type V market, then yeah, they're definitely serious. So the design principles, what makes this MHS system different from, say, other aluminum framing out there? Good question. It really seems to boil down to simplicity, structural simplicity, modularity, and using just one main material, 100% aluminum. That 100% aluminum part, that hits the green notes right away, doesn't it? it? means it's all recyclable, reusable, and the building's life is over. Totally. Big sustainability point. But beyond the material, how is the actual structure engineered? How is it strong? Well, the strength comes from two things, the specific alloy they use and the um, the shape, the geometry of the parts. They use 6061T6 aluminum alloy. 6061T6. I've heard of that. Isn't that used in like high-end bikes and planes? Precisely. Yeah. High performance stuff, bike frames, marine structures, aerospace. It gives you a really excellent strength to weight ratio, mm -hmm. meaning you can handle big loads with components that are much, much lighter than steel. And crucially, their system is specifically engineered, they say, for high seismic zones and extreme wind loads. They've got the testing data to back that up. Right. That strength to weight thing. That must be a huge deal for just getting materials to site, foundations, all that. But OK, versatility. The sources say you can build almost anything with this. What kind of range are we talking about? The modular nature makes it super adaptable. You can use it for, well, accessory dwelling units, ADUs, which are popping up everywhere now. Oh, yeah. Huge demand for those. Right. But also larger prefab modular buildings, classrooms, office pods, even things like mobile trailers or shelters, structures for trade shows, event spaces, even frames for solar panels. Wow. OK. So the core frame is the same basic idea, just scaled and configured differently. Pretty much. The core components connect the same way, but you can integrate different things into it. And there's an aesthetic point, too, mentioned in the materials. Ah, yes, the modern look. Exactly. That clean, modern aesthetic. It seems architects can choose to leave the frame exposed as a design feature, or they can hide it. That flexibility is designed right in. Okay, that leads us neatly into the mechanics, the nuts and bolts. 